Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today we're doing our setup plan review for the game Glasgow. This is for two players, it's by Lookout Games and the designer. I first actually had a game of a playtest before the game was released for the game Letter Jam and I've also played with the designer at Tabletop Gaming Live as a different game. But now this person, Mandela Fernandez Grandon, who I've met since as well at Spiel 2022, so check out my playlist for Spiel 2022. I'll now show you how to set up this game. This is not the insert that comes with the game. This is something that the person who lent me this game has actually created. So in Glasgow, which takes about 40 minutes to play, like I said, it's just for two players. I personally think you could potentially play it with more. It is set in Glasgow because there's a grid system. Now this grid of buildings is basically gonna be created in a five by four grid, depending on if you wanna do it landscape or portrait, it doesn't matter. It's a five by four grid. Aim of the game is to get the most points using number of goods. You can use those goods to maybe complete objectives if you're ever evolving city grid with those said buildings and sometimes factories. So in this game, all of these tiles are gonna be used, but two are going to be removed. You will not be playing with them, but of course you can play with them in a future game. If you watch this as a short, well, now you've, you won't be watching anymore because over one minute has elapsed, but you can head through to watch the full video as always on uh, YouTube. Any questions, please let me know again, as always, in the comments section on YouTube. It does get shared and it is viewed elsewhere, but this way at least I get to actually reply quickest. And everyone else who might have the same question can, of course, see the responses. Equally, check out the description in YouTube where you can, of course, find any updates that I will have in terms of, I don't know, rules or anything like that in there too. And you also find occasionally competitions via Linktree, but they are time sensitive, so they do disappear. Also, please head through to Instagram, over 2,989 posts at time of recording. So you're going to shuffle these up and place these out face up, but of course you can start doing it initially face down, and you're doing them like this. Now, what you're going to notice is I'm doing four, and then going to place out one of these buildings. These are kind of characters, and then going to place out four, and this represents the river. This is, uh, now there's, I think it's the River Clyde. And there we go, three, four. Make sure there's enough space to get everything in. I've happened to make it a bit bigger than needs to be, but don't worry about that. I can always zoom and zoom out. This again is a 4K recording, so if you find any symbology too small, just head through to, of course, update that as well. So we've got four of these characters out now. What we're gonna do is, of course, play another character out here. As I said, this is a river, and let's just keep placing these out. Okay, cool. So there's another four going out there and you're gonna place another one out and keep on going. So, one, two, three, four, person. One, two, three, four, person. One, two, three, four, and now actually that all links up. And ultimately, you're gonna have it looking like this. So I've made it a bit bigger than I needed to, and my circles might not be the best in the business in this instance. Okay, so we've got everyone laid out, but you always lay out an additional person where you're starting. So you have two people at the top here as such. Okay, and now we're ready to talk about the components. So you might recognize this component. This is from Russian Railroads. Hans and Glug be very kind to let it in. That is known as steel. We've also got stone, which for some reason is red, so you could call it brick. We've also got gold. And lastly, we have got whiskey. Only one person can have whiskey, so if you land on the whiskey spot to gain whiskey, you either take it from the supply or take it from whoever owns the whiskey as well. Okay, as I said, this is the River Clyde. Everyone is gonna have a board as well. So I'll just leave this slightly out of shot. There it is down the bottom here. As you can see, whiskey, you can only have one of. So there we have that. Okay, so in this game, what you're gonna do is initially start on this location and you're gonna either be the green person or you are going to be the blue person. Given a choice, I'd play as a blue merchant. So I'm gonna place there. And if you see my videos for patchwork, I've got numerous videos of patchwork, what you're gonna be doing is over the back marker is gonna go first. But in this instance, what we're gonna do is start off. So obviously green is at the back. So like I said, I'll make sure I'm blue. I can move here. So I move one position and I get what is on there and it goes into my supply. Limit obviously is listed here of four and now it's greenstone. And what green can do is switch stuff around. It depends maybe what I'm gonna do. Um, but also what I need to make sure is just show you other things. So everybody does start off with a certain amount of resources. Everyone starts off with a steel, so I actually would have gained an extra steel, and everyone starts with a brick. So of course somebody else is gonna have their board out as well, but I'll just leave that a shot. And let's just leave this in shot here too, shot with a glass word. So what I'm gonna do now is, well, green could go here and maybe swap a steel. So they've swapped a steel for, let's say, one of their gold. So let's just have their board over here for now. And uh, let's kind of do it like this, just to show you've got a golden play. 
And lastly, something I hadn't shown you is you're gonna have some of these buildings go out. So some of them are gonna go just out of shot, but we're also gonna have some down here too. So have two buildings. These are buildings you can build. Like I said, you're looking to build buildings and the game ends once the 20th building has been built. So let's just chuck two down here. Okay, and let's see who goes next. And that's my turn at the back. This time I'll show you an example. I'm gonna jump all the way over to here. Oh no, do you know what? I might go here just to get one gold. So now I've got one gold in play. So you see, I've got a gold. And now it's their turn again. And do you know what? We might even choose to zoom out. Let's have a think about this. Now nah, we'll leave it like that. So now green can go here and I don't know, get themselves some brick or stone. And now it's my turn. Now this time I go here, you always take the rightmost slot and you can buy one of these buildings if you want to. So in this case, I might buy this one. It's gonna cost me two brick, which I don't have, but I do have one brick, so I buy that, and it's gonna be facing me. I can go anywhere I like in this five by four grid. Of course, that gets created if you build it out. You spend the resource, goes out to the supply. And lastly, the next building will come up. So I've got a new building from the stack gets revealed. In this case, I can't afford it, but if I wanted to afford it, I have to spend a coin, so I spend the gold, to basically then have the option to then buy that building, spending its full cost as well. Why do I want to build this? Well, remember, first you've got an arrow, and if you happen to have one of each type, so in this case I did last time, then you'll get yourself 10 victory points. So I happen to have two sets, so I got 20 victory points. So that comes out. And then let's say the next building was built by somebody else, and they of course have it built towards them, so you score this at the end of the game. There's no score pad, alas. And then some of these buildings score better, so in this case you want to have things surrounding it because at the end of the game, you get three points per building adjacent to it, so orthogonally adjacent. So if this was a corner piece, and for some reason we started building that in this way, well, in this case, you're only going to score yourself, well, you'll score minimum nine points. Unless, of course, it was a corner building, you're going to score six points. In the centre, you're scoring yourself 12. Now, in this instance, what's going to happen, if somebody builds a building here, it doesn't matter who it is, if it's me, I get the barrel, if I built it this way, the other person gets a barrel. So in this case, I might not want to build here. I might want to build down here. What this gives you is you get points times by the amount of parks that you have squared. So if I've got another a park out, then of course that's going to score me better as well. So the more parks, the better. Over here, again, three points times the amount of gold at the end of the game. Over here, we have again got those adjacency rules going on. And again, sometimes you get the points in the corner as well. Over here, we have got, uh, again, points at the end based on how many brick you have or stone. Here you get to swap something, so when it, something gets placed next to it or in that row or column, it's going to trigger again, and they're going again. You can, in this case, spend three steel when you bring it out, but of course you're getting six points at the end, and you're getting this that works towards the multiplier because it's an attraction. So various things, we have things such as uh, we have the parks, which we talked about. We have sometimes a shop which in this instance just could be straight up victory points, which you haven't seen yet, but I'll show you what they look like. There are only three of them in the game, so there's different distributions of each. So if you want to have a shop, it is going to look like, and they're always, I don't know who I trigger to find, they look like this. So in this case, you're getting five victory points per shop that you have. What else do you have? Well, you've got landmarks, which we talked about. So that's over here, it's a landmark. Sometimes you have a tenement, like I said, those corner buildings. Uh, all those buildings score adjacent. Sometimes you have banks. So basically a bank is something whereby you're scoring something up at the end. And you have those train stations which we talked about. So obviously you can visit things. So this is gonna keep expanding until eventually you've got a five by four grid, however you wish. Again, that trigger is the final time of the game. Sometimes you can land on a space, in which case wherever you land on next, you get twice the amount. So you get two of those and two of those. Again, uh, you can always do a second building. Sometimes you can actually flip over tiles. So you remove a tile coming up wherever you like and have that replaced again. And that's how the game goes. You won't go through all of these tiles, but most of them will be seen. So you have a good chance of actually, I don't know, working towards maybe getting six of these, of course, for 36 points. In the last game, we made sure that it was actually, uh, we got two a piece in the end, because again, you can burn through some of them. So what's my thought on the game? Well, I give this an eight out of 10, really impressive game. It's right up there with Targi as a two player game. The replayability is a lot more than I anticipated. Very impressed. There was other games, I think three designs now, Mandela's put out. The second being, I think, Overstocked, which I haven't played yet. Look forward to trying that out. This was anticipated to actually be a zoomed out video. For some reason, unfortunately, it's not zooming out, so I can't uh, 
give it to you a bit clearer than it would be. So apologies for that. But aside from that, please hit that subscribe button, the like button, the notification bell. This is going that two player playlist, the Amass Games playlist, the Family Weight playlist, amongst many others. And I hope you found this of interest. Please let me know in the comments, like I said before. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. This has been Glasgow. Thanks for watching again. And for now, back further to the table.